Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to be using Color Effects Pro with Adobe Lightroom. And we're going to be creating a glamour glow skin look portrait. So we'll be getting this photo here from this photo here. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay. First thing I want to do is actually sync up my color and white balance with my photo. Now, this uh, photo here was created using the uh, Data Colors uh, Spider Checker color calibration software. So using this, and it's going to simply sync it with it. I've already got it set. And if you're wondering about uh, color calibrating your photos, I'll put a link to that up in the cards on that particular video. So I'm going to sync my white balance and my color adjustments over. That way that photo is color calibrated. Okay, wonderful. Let's go ahead and click on that photo now and, and open it into the develop module so we can do uh, some further adjustments. Now we are going to be editing this in ColorFX Pro, except there's a few things I want to do in the uh, RAW before we export this over to TIFF and import that over into ColorFX. One of those things I want to do is actually go down and add my sharpening here. So I'm actually find my sharpening profile I'm going to use. I think that was it. Apply that one. Okay, that works pretty decent. Let me have to adjust the radius just a little bit here. And the amount just there. That should be pretty decent for the most part. Let me check this. Yeah, I think the sharpening is pretty good there. Noise reduction of 10 is uh, perfectly fine. Color is fine. All right. Now we need to go down here and actually do some uh, lens corrections. Click on Remove Chromatic Aberration. Go ahead and get that one on. And also turn on uh, Profile Corrections. And you can see my Sigma 18-35 to art lens was detected. Wonderful. So that should be it for the most part for this photo. White balance I had set just a second ago with a custom one. It's uh, just 61,000 on the temp. Excuse me, 6,100. And the tint didn't adjust any. So the white balance is set for this particular photo now. Okay. Let's go back over to the library and our photo is ready to be exported over to color effects now. So right click on it, go down edit in. Actually, let me click the photo there. <laughs> go down to edit in and go down to color effects pro four. That's the one we're going to be using. Okay. And like I said, it pulls up file format TIFF, color space sRGB, which is what we're uh, editing in uh, bit depth 16. And no compression, of course, leave the default resolution, which is fine. And go ahead and click edit. And give this just a moment to open up into Color Effects Pro. Okay, wonderful. Now it's opened up to Color Effects Pro here. Now, there are a lot of presets that you could actually choose from here, and it does a lot of things for you already, and giving you also adjustments. So if you choose something over here like Color Stylizer, you can then go over here to the other side of the program, and you got adjustments for that. Now, the one I'm going to be using here, so I'm actually going down to Wedding, it just has a lot of presets already determined, which are really good for portraits and weddings and stuff. And the first thing I want to check is dynamic skin softener. And you can see that soften up the skin quite a bit for us. And it looks pretty decent. And here's the, the good thing about this one. It does a lot of the global adjustments for you, but you can also stack these. So if I go over here to the side and you can see it says add filter, I can add an additional filter. So let me go ahead and click on that. And see it now says, please select an additional filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Glamour Glow now. And that actually added a glow to it. So now I have Dynamic Skin Softener and Glamour Glow already applied. And once I've got that done, all I've got to do is go down here to the bottom. Let me zoom in and just click on Save. 
and let that re-import back into Adobe Lightroom. Okay, wonderful. Now we got our photo in Adobe Lightroom. Let's go ahead and click on it again and put it back into the develop module so we can do any kind of our local adjustments that we want to get done. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do is actually crop this. I don't like the uh, uh, standard uh, file size there, uh, dimensions on the photos when you're shooting portraits. I really like 8 by 10 I think 8 by 10 is going to look really good here. You can see you get the eyes around the thirds so i think that looks really good right there i'm gonna go ahead and click done and i like that cropping a lot okay now the other thing i'm going to do here is i want to adjust my blacks down just a little bit probably about a negative six or seven just because i think you know it's just it needs to be slightly darker about a negative 10 i'll try it there okay I think that looks pretty good for overall. I'm going to zoom in on the skin. You can see what that uh, preset did. It softened the skin up a lot, but still leaves a lot of detail. There is still lots of detail in the skin. So anybody that thinks it makes it blurry, that those little presets didn't. And uh, all it did was really make the skin really soft. Still leaves detail, but also glow a lot. And people like that glamour glow on a lot of photos. Okay, I know a lot of people also don't like it, but <laughs> you know, to each their own. Now I'm gonna go down here also since I got that one done. I just want to turn uh do a post crop vignetting right quick, just a little bit. Oh, well, not that much. Probably about negative seventeen is about all I'm gonna need for this, just so everything is focused in towards the center of the photo. Okay, now let me go back up here at the top. And let's go ahead and click on our brushes. Now I'm going to do some uh, local adjustments. I'm going to zoom this in to, to actually feel right quick. And that's going to let me get closer in. I can zoom that to where I want it right here. Okay. So the one I'm going to choose here now is I actually want to do my eye detail brush first. Of course, anybody that hasn't seen that brush before, let me just zoom in for you. You know, it's a contrast of 50, clarity of 75, and a sharpness of 50. Now, i got my feather flow and density on about 75, all three of them here. And I adjust my size as I go. And while I'm at it speaking about this, if anybody wants these brushes, just quickly pause the video right here and adjust your brushes in Lightroom or write these down right quick. Then when you get done, all you got to do is go click up here and go to save current settings as new preset. So you don't have to ask me, ask me to send you the uh, brushes. You can actually just pop these in right quick and save them yourself. So just anytime you're going through the video and you like this particular brush, just pause the video and uh, put it in Lightroom right quick and save your own. And it make it really easy for you. Okay. So now I've got that one shows. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over my eyebrows just a little bit that darken those in a lot make them look really nice really clear I'm gonna go over the top of the eyes right here too and see it brought back a lot of the details in the makeup and stuff that was lost because of the flash and go to the other eye here I think that's looking pretty decent yeah I like how that looks Okay, just get that brush down the way I want it. Alright, I think the eyes look really good there now. Let's do a little more here. Click on new again. And let's go down to choose a different brush. I'm going to go down to eye white. And of course, I'll zoom in here in case anybody wants to get this particular brush. It's just the exposure of a half stop, a point, uh, five here. And a saturation of negative 100. That's simply all that eye white brush is. What it's really good is just removing kind of any kind of redness in the eye, you know, from allergies and stuff. Really helps make the eyes look really healthy. A lot of people really like this. Okay. Now that we've got that one done, let's go ahead and click new again. Now I'm going to choose the circular filter here at the top now. 
and the brush I'm actually going to choose is Iris Enhance One Stop. I want One Stop on this one, which is simply an exposure of uh, 1.01, 1 .01, a saturation of 66, and a clarity of 10. Like I said, if you want this particular brush, you can stop right here right now and go down to save after you put it in and simply save that preset. Now I'm going to draw a little, little circle or filter over the iris here and see that brighten that iris up, brought a little bit of color out of it. And you go to duplicate and create a second one. You can just drag it over. And I think that looks really good there. Click done on that one. Okay, let me pull the face up just a little bit here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of brush here for the lips. Okay. Let me go ahead and choose lips. And I'm going to brush this on. So I think it looks pretty decent. Okay. Now let's see how that looks. Uh, I think the clarity is too strong for this pickle one. So I'm going to drop the clarity back down and say about around 10 to 15. Uh, 13 is close enough. Also, I'm going to pop in some red here. Go to the full corner over here. There we go. Q of 0, saturation 100. Add a lot of red to those lips. And see if we can bring it up. It could The clarity would actually kind of darken them in quite a bit. So I'm actually going to leave that, say, about 12. Yeah. And then add some nice red to the lips. Keep brushing on the areas. Until we think it looks the way we want it to look okay and I think that looks pretty good fairly natural just a little bit of a red lipstick there now let's go ahead and hit the teeth while we're at it now Rose's teeth are pretty white but it'll help make the lips look a little bit brighter kind of just brush that on just a little bit a little teeth whitening of course let me zoom in on that brush right quick saturation and negative 60 Exposure of 0.4. That one should come with Lightroom. And once you got done, click done. Let's zoom out. Actually, we'll go here to the side so I can zoom back out. Click on fit. And I think that's it. We're done. And that photo looks, you know, really good to me. Like I said, I'll put a before and after up here on the uh, computer screen, right quick for everybody. But I really like the way this photo looks. It's got a real nice glamour look. I think uh, Color Effects Pro makes it really easy for a lot of people getting wanting to get that uh, glamour glow skin look. And uh, anyway, it looks pretty uh, pretty good to me. I think it looks you know, actually probably exceptional. And like I said, if you're interested in that, any of these presets, just kind of write them down as you go through the video here. And you can pause the video, write them down if you want to, or go into Lightroom right quick and just put those settings in to save your own presets. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial, everyone. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you do, how about giving me a thumbs up? Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to, uh, to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. And let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.